It is that time of year again. There is rumors galore about what the Philadelphia Eagles may do at number 10. And we're going to talk about Jackson Smith and Jigba and whether I think the Eagles will do it. Also, I'm going to give you three players that I actually think that they're going to draft if they stay at 10. So let's talk about it. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy Joe Castro, aka Philly Fresco, and it is Philly Philly the podcast. So today, I want to talk about JSN. A lot of people are talking about how the Eagles are enamored with him, and he might be an option at ten. And I also want to talk about three guys that I realistically think the Eagles could and probably should pick at number ten if they're to stay there. Now, before we get into that, be sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe, join the family. I am leaving for Kansas City tomorrow, so I will be covering the draft. If you guys want to help in any way i will leave a link in the description as always and also check out the new hats man we working on some merch uh you want philly philly you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying I, I like these hats uh shout out to the digital print house man, for uh putting these together if you guys like them and and i wasn't really thinking of selling them but a lot of people are telling me that they like them so if you like them leave a comment and, and maybe we'll start selling some of them but uh other than that let's just get into this man right so jackson smith and jig but i made a video not too long ago about jackson smith and jig and how he would change his offense he is probably the best route runner in the class i think that you know you can make an argument for some people but i think that jackson smith has been the most consistently great running uh, route runner in this class as far as wide receivers go i do believe that he has good enough speed I, I don't think that he's amazing at anything i think that he's very very good at everything which is just as good in my opinion it, you can either have one elite trait or you can be very good across the board and i think that's what jackson smith is i mean he has good hands he again like i said a very very good route runner he has enough speed to get away from people he's more quick than fast in my opinion but he can still have that breakaway speed i i don't think the eagles will actually go wide receiver at 10 i could be wrong this would be what the third year in a row that they went um wide receiver first pick so i, I don't think that's what's gonna happen i mean if you count aj brown as like their first pick last year because we did trade away our first you know first round pick to get him so that's kind of how i'm looking at it but i don't think that's going to be the case i i, I like jackson smith and jigba a lot and i think that there's other wide receivers in this class that i like a lot obviously we were able to get Oz from from the atlanta falcons and and he's somebody that will be interesting to see how he fits into this offense obviously only five eight so there are certain things that he can do certain things he cannot do so what are they looking for at that that wide receiver position i know a lot of people are expecting the eagles to add at the running back spot how many running backs are we going to go into this year with how many wide receivers are we going to go into this year with now before i get into like the three guys that i think that they should pick i do want to say a wide receiver and a running back might not be as far disparaged as you might think. I, I know a lot of people look at the wide receiver and say, we need a wide receiver three. You know, that's a, a immediate position that they can start at. But if you look at a running back, especially some of the top ones in this class, right? You talk about Jameer Gibbs, you talk about a Bajon, talk about a couple other guys, you know, that can, I mean, you can look at a Ty J Spears, a Devin a Chain. There's a, a lot of guys in this class that can offer you something in the receiving game. And maybe they, the Eagles go ahead and grab a running back that is great in the receiving kind of like a Jameer Gibbs if you can get a Jameer Gibbs at 30 I think that he kind of fills in that slot role that you're looking to, to fill maybe not a every down third you know wide receiver but he's a guy that you can line up in the slot you can line up out wide and you'll still get some production from him or you can just have him running routes from the backfield so there's definitely other routes other than just going Jackson Smith and Jigba but if we are to get Jackson Smith and Jigba I will be surprised i will i'll be very surprised if we went ahead and did that at 10 but i wouldn't be necessarily upset that would be showing that we are going all the way in on this offense which wouldn't be the worst thing right you you look at the you look at the the future of it i obviously now looking at these cap hits it feels a little bit more comfortable saying that you can re-sign a guy like Devonte smith aj brown is obviously already on his extension but you know maybe you say i don't know how much i'm going to be able to put into this you know offense down the road and and maybe a, a offensive weapon like a wide receiver can definitely help you down the road obviously they get paid a good amount of money so you know Devonte smith might be asking for a bag aj brown might be asking for a raise pretty soon so there's things that could happen so if they did that i would kind of 
chalk it up as that. Like I said, I wouldn't be mad. I think Jackson Smith is a very good player, um, and it is what it is. Now, I want to get into the three guys I think that they should take. Now, the first one, I'm going to say it, and I'm going to get it over with because I know you guys are probably tired of hear hearing me say this name, but it's Kalaja Kansi, man. If all, if Jalen Carter's gone, if Will Anderson's gone, if Tyree Wilson is gone, if Miles Murphy's gone, which it seems like they might be, I love Kalaja Kansi. And I know some people have uh, Brian Brasse a little bit over him. I don't. I have Kalaja Kansi over him. I, I think that Kalaja immediately replaces what you lost in a Javon Hargrave. I understand that he's undersized. And honestly, I think he gives you a little bit even more than what a Javon Hargrave did because Javon Hargrave was a great pass rusher from the interior. Don't get me wrong. And that's what I'm kind of hoping that Kalijah Kansi can replace. But you can put Kalijah Kansi on the outside. You can stand him up on the outside and let him pass, uh, rush the passer. And I think that that's a huge weapon to have on this defense. Now, I know I've talked about him millions of times, so I'll move on from there uh but the second guy that i'm thinking and people might not love this people people really might not love this but it's going to be paris johnson I, I think that look if you are in a position to get a guy that can be your future right tackle your future guard or your your present guard and future right tackle or he can just sit and wait till you know lane johnson is ready to go i know people hate to hear that that you know at 10 you're taking a guy that's just going to sit for a year or two but realistically the eagles are in a position that if you want to win for the next five six years seven eight nine ten years you have to start looking at the future you have to set up for the future and while I understand that, you know, a lot of people say, hey, Cam Jurgens got to go in there and play or else you wasted a second round pick or a third round pick. I forget what he is now. But, uh, you know, I, I get it. I, I definitely get it. I, I definitely get it. But the Eagles are a great team. And, and last year we saw, I think, our top three, you know, uh, uh, draft picks really didn't do much for us. So it, it's not about that, in my opinion. I think you have a very good team. And, and if you can get a guy that if – Something happens to, to Lane Johnson, God forbid, he can step right in. You know, we lost to Andre Dillard, and I know a lot of people, you know, are down on Andre Dillard, but he played guard for us. He, he obviously could play left tackle for us. That was a good swing uh, offensive lineman that we had on this roster that we no longer have. And after our starting five, I mean, there's a lot of outside of Cam Jurgens. if you don't include him in the starting five, I mean, who do you really feel comfortable with going in in a pinch? So if you're able to get a top tier guy that can go in in a pinch or can start for you off the off rip and make your depth a little bit better, why not? Why not? I think that that's a great idea. Um, I know people would hate that one, but it is what it is. Now, the number one guy that I want to see them grab is probably a little bit unrealistic, but it is what it is. And I'm going to say a couple guys because one of these guys has to fall. I would love, I would love to see the Eagles go ahead and grab a Tyree Wilson or a Jalen Carter or a Miles Murphy. I would love to get one of those top three guys. I, I would say Will Anderson, but I, I don't think Will Anderson makes it out of the top four, but it is what it is. If we can grab one of those, I know Jalen Carter because of his, you know, off the field things may slip a little bit. Tyree Wilson is actually odds on favorite to go number one in this draft. A lot of Trayvon Walker vibes. He's a guy that I think is just, they love his build. They love how he's, you know, molded and they feel that he can be a great NFL player because of his intangibles and his his athleticism and the numbers he put up in the combine and stuff like that. So, I look, if we can get a guy like that, I think we can mold him into a great offense, a uh, defensive lineman. If we can get a Miles Murphy, I think he would be an impact player off rip. If we can get a Jalen Carter, I will do a black a backflip off of this stage. I will literally jump on the stage at the draft and I will do a backflip off of it because I will be that happy. I, I think that these guys and, and look i think that this draft in general not just these guys but i think in this draft the eagles have a lot of options if none of these five or six guys that we like you know what i'm saying are at number 10 you can move back and if you move back you can still probably sit there and say all right i got like four or five guys that i like at 17 at 18 at 19 and then you still got the number 30 pick so it's like i i feel confident about this draft i'm very very excited to see what happens but i, I do think that those you know, I said kind of like six technically because number one had like three players, but you know, I think it's five, right? So five players, it is what it is. Um, I think I would be very, very happy with the Eagles going ahead and grab. So you guys let me know in the comments, man, what do you want to see? What do you think we'll see? How much do you believe these uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba rumors? I, I think it's kind of just a smoke screen at this point. There's a lot of rumors that even Detroit might be looking at a wide receiver now that Jameson Williams is uh, suspended. So you guys let me know what you're 
you're thinking, what do you want to see? But other than that, y'all know what it is, man. If y'all like the hats, let me know in the comments, man, because we might be able to, uh, you know, make something pop with these. Uh, but yeah, fly goes fly. And we are out here. Peace. Jackson like Sean, hunting like Randolph.